Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name ain't Jamal. No, no, I said Zamal. It's a uh, yes, yeah, it's a big, it's a big language. What's good with you, man? How's it going? Chilling, bro. Hey, man. You heard about what happened to Chief? Yeah, bro. I heard what happened to the. I heard what happened to everything. That's crazy, man. That's absolute. That shit, you know wild, bro. Yeah, it's wild, man. It's wild, bro. Like, that's what I was telling people. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I told people I'm not feeling the force of that or even talking about certain things of that nature because I'm not, and you know me, I'm not here to slander anybody and I'm definitely not here to, you know, um, create any kind of turbulence for y'all because I know y'all are going through it and I know everything's going through for that. So, and I don't like to see anybody going through anything like that. I, I was telling my crowd actually just a little bit ago, I was talking to people and I was like, you know, people are vessels. So I'm saying people are vessels for good and negative behaviors. So I'm saying so I don't on, look man. at, I don't look at people. I don't look at individuals as, you know, good or bad. I look at the actions this that nigga, people display as agreeable or disagreeable. <laughs> 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 Yo, free to but three, hey, bro. Free to three, yo. You know, you know what? Every time I do a wheelchair, I have to stop because of you. I'll be, I'll be dancing. I'll just be like, oh, I can't do that no more. <laughs> I'll be so uh, No more Tron. Get off the Wi-Fi. Like, nah. like, I can't do it no They more. stopped the Tron. Nah, Get off the Wi-Fi. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just saying. My name's Kanu. Listen, nah, though, bro. Listen, though, bro. I just wanted to say this, bro. I'll see you soon. That's right, right, right. I'm going to see you later. All I want to say is this, though, bro. I understand that, you know what I'm saying, there's certain differences and you've grown and you done went on to, you know, your next chapter in life, but make sure you always give respect where respect is due. And I'm telling you this because I see myself in you. I grew up in a, I grew up in a world where I didn't have no OG. I didn't grow up around, you know what I'm saying, I grew up around white people and that confused me because white people live by a different code of conduct. You feel what I'm saying? We we live by a different code. They live by a different code of conduct, conduct as our lower self and the mentality and the morals and how they move. So me being somebody who was subject to that and also a single mother household, I developed certain characteristics over time that weren't good that I had to learn to heal from. And I seen that displayed. You feel me? I feel like you dishonored Chief in the sense of the, all the good that he's done for you and things that he's shown you. And this ain't a tech on your character, but I just feel like as black men, I have to say this genetically to our genetics, bro. Like, bigger than you, but not like offending you, but it's bigger than you as though it's bigger than me. You feel me? This is a thing that is in, in a lot of black men. You feel what I'm saying? That they've dealt with this. And so I've struggled with this in my life. And I just want to say that no matter how you feel, you know what I'm saying? Never bite the hand that feeds you. Never. If somebody puts you on, bro, never throw dirt on their name. If somebody took care of you, never bite them, bro. Never throw dirt on their name. It don't matter how you feel, especially if it's in public. Always give respect where respect is due. Always, bro. Because it's bigger than you. It's about how we treat each other as black men. And people, yep. and we need that right now, bro. And and there's there's young people out here who need to understand that it's okay to respect authority. It's okay to give reverence to authority even when it's disagreements. It's okay to be like, it's a disagreement, but hey, she always made sure I ate. When my money ran out, he always pushed me to be greater than I was. And I didn't have that at that time. I would say this, my... Uh, because my what you thing. say, because what you say politically is tied to Chief. And you got to realize even right now, this there's public things and cases going on. So when you know there's been good experiences and good things he's done for you, and you don't say that's messed up because right now the black man is being tried for things that he didn't do. And, and even though you may not feel like, oh, I don't know that or I don't believe that, you're going to see that soon. Just like you know every time Chief got locked up that he got out because they had no proof to prove what wasn't never there. Mm. And so now yeah. he's going to get exonerated again. And all I'm saying is for yourself, bro. Keep those morals for yourself. I, I say this. I That's that. Saying. You see what I'm saying? I see what I see what you're saying. Uh, as far as like, I hear what you're saying. I get I get what you're saying, brother. And it's like, there's no disrespect. I say this, right? I highly disagree with certain like you already know as far as the disagreements that we have as far as certain things that happen in the camp. As far as 
um, you know, going to the tribe and when I first joined and, you know, going to, you know, all over the jungles and stuff like that. I cater to that. I cater that to not only to him, but I cater that to the whole group because the way I see it, the way I see it is that it wasn't just, it's not, it wasn't one person. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a state say like that. I cater to everybody. I, I give reverence to everybody that came through with some funds to be able to help fund the whole show to get the thing to happen. You feel what I'm saying? That's just like that. I look at key. I look at you. I look at everyone that had a part in playing getting everybody across the tropics, whether we were in Costa Rica or what's like that. That's how I look at it. I don't look at it as this one individual as being the sponsor for everyone to get from point A to point B. I don't look at it like that because there was a lot of key points involved. I look at Phoenix, who was there prior to all y'all, who Phoenix was the one who spoke Spanish. I look to um, Rambo, who was the one who spoke Spanish as well to, you know, if, if he wasn't in carbonation, he decided to do his own thing. Then, you know what I'm saying? That's what he would have utilized. He utilized it for the benefit of the group. So it's more of a connective thing you feel what i'm saying i don't look at it as one person because anybody could have played the head anybody anybody could have played the head in that moment to to make certain decisions we a lot of the group decisions prior to y'all coming there a lot of the group decisions that were made was to get you know people from point a to point b it wasn't like a oh i'm gonna make the decision and everyone go through what happened is that changed over time and bp actually was talking about certain things when i first joined there you feel what i'm saying I didn't even I didn't even join until I was already mid flight, meaning that if they didn't if they didn't pick up the phone to like be like, yo, you can come to the camp and yada, yada, yada. I would have already been there. You feel what I'm saying? I had forty dollars in my pocket. I had a tent and I had a and I had a sleeping bag. You feel what I'm saying? So the way mm -hmm. that I came and pulled up on Melon Nation at the time, it wasn't the way that y'all pulled up. You feel what I'm saying? Which is a little bit different. So I understand where you're coming from as far as how you're looking at things. And I get it. You feel what I'm saying? I completely get it. I just disagree with the way that it's interpreted as far as how things going. I don't go out here and slander this man's name. As a man, I don't go and slander another man's name. I don't do that. I'm too big for that. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? I understand certain things. But I get I get what you're saying, Zamal, and I want to let you know, like I respect you know what I'm saying, I respect you. Hey, personally. call me Musa, bro. Call me Musa. Okay, Musa. I res I respect you, Musa, yeah. as a as an individual, as a person. And I appreciate the things that you did contribute. You know what I'm saying? When we were where we were at. So I'm saying, so I give that to you, my, my brother. I don't give that to him for certain things. I give what he gave, which was inspiration at the time for certain people to go to, you know, um, Costa Rica, as well as other people that were involved. So I'm saying, so I don't look at it as one person. I can't do that. That that's that's how bro. You can't brother. sit here and cap and say that she um never blew your mind open with some information that you never could conceive yourself. And what I'm saying is I'm not saying you went in there and threw dirt on his name. I'm saying the act of you not giving reverence might as well be throwing dirt on his name because it's not the people that actually do the, the thing that's bad. It's the people that watch. And when you had a good experience with somebody and you see so many people throwing their dirt on, on his name and you don't give a balanced feedback on what that person did for you, you're wrong. You're wrong as a person and you don't have a pure heart is what I'm telling you. You have to have the courage to speak up and say something. Regardless, hey man, look, I know this and that, but in the time when I was there, Chief did a lot of things for me that nobody else could do at that time. And even though I have my differences, this is what I gained from that. And I'm so thankful I had that experience in my life because it taught me so much. He taught me things. He put me on chess. He got me on a level, showed me a certain militance that I've never seen. He showed me a certain level of bravery and honesty that I've never seen any human have. And if you don't give that feedback, that's not good, bro. I would say this. I would Period. Say this, because you know that's the truth. Because I came here and you was here and I seen how you looked at them. I seen how you loved them, bro. And I know that you got to a certain um, level in your... Um, kundalini awakening and you're dealing with what you're dealing with but all i'm gonna say is this bro i love you and i know you know better than that so what i'm saying is i'm saying this for anybody who might be doing something like this with a loved one in their life you don't treat people like that especially when you know you've been in clutch situation you didn't seen chief take care of you he's a loving being and you know that for sure and you know he's misunderstood. So if you don't give a balanced response, bro, that's wrong, bro. You need to give a balanced response for your own self. Yeah, brother. I, I know that everyone has the potential to um, be a loving being, brother. And like I said, bro. Free to I was three, there, bro. I was there. Free my chief. Free to I was three. There. 
I was there in the beginning, my brother. I'm letting you know, like I, I, I see what you're saying, brother. And there's there's certain things that this brother did that were good. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not discrediting anything. And even when I was there, I even said certain things. But the reality is, my brother, that there's a lot of things that were. And I can say this. I'm gonna say this because I said this on my last live. I'm gonna say this. I just I disagree with this 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 dude's movements, and I also disagree with the way that this key even came about when it comes to the knowledge. If I'm gonna credit someone to knowledge, especially doing the fact that. The information, a lot of the information that he get, and I know you don't know this because you weren't there in the beginning. And the only way to really understand this would for us to be, you know, go back in time or really talk to someone that was able to, you know, explain Bro. certain things that were explained to me. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of this dude okay. knowledge, and I'm going to say it like this, brother, and it may, it may be friction in this moment of explanation, but as black people, we have to be able to have the serious conversations like this in the moments of friction and feeling however we're feeling to be able to get information across. You feel what I'm saying? What I was explained is things that I know, you know what I'm saying? Like I know like mm -hmm. I know in my heart because right. I was there in the beginning is that a lot of this brother's information actually didn't come from him. And he was inspired by someone else and didn't even give reverence to the person that he got inspired from to be able to speak information that actually set me out on my journey. You know what I'm saying? Okay. In the beginning. I'm not talking about right now some of the things you got going on right now. I'm not saying this brother never said anything that wasn't profound. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that when this person, individual, started in the beginning, the information that he had was not the information. He actually got taught by somebody, you feel what I'm saying, that was given the information that came from a different source, which is what I was sparked and intrigued to want to even, um, you know, want to even go out there for, you feel what I'm saying, was information. And mm -hmm. I have sources and sites, you feel what I'm saying, to be able to give the, the depiction of the, this person's background. Now, I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying, as far as like where he's at right now in his own disagreeable behaviors as I see it as disagreeable behaviors because it's not in agreement to how I want to live and how I see myself mm -hmm. that's neither here nor there I'm not here I'm not here to talk about another man's failures because I've definitely failed within myself as far as I see it not how you see it, I'm saying as far as I see it so I don't I don't need to talk about that but if we're talking about the integrity of the information and where it comes from so I'm saying certain information where it comes from in the beginning of where I started versus where I left and where it's where it is right now there's a certain pattern and a certain line you feel what I'm saying? Where I can't just give somebody, you know what I'm saying, and so, you'd be like, oh, yeah, he taught me this, he taught me that, when certain things that were even taught to me came from somebody else. You feel what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that's why we cite our sources to be able to give reverence to where information actually comes from. So experiences that I had as far as when I was on the journey with him, and for you and him, it's not just, it's not just him, my brother. You got to understand, it's you too. It's everyone there. It's everyone that ever was there. I give it to everybody. I don't give it to one individual and try to put one underneath the other. I don't. I don't look at, um, what's he called, Nature Boy or, or, or Three God. Three God now. I don't look at him. I don't look at him over you, and I don't look at you over him. I look at y'all, both people that I met on my journey, that inspired me in different ways. You feel what I'm saying to continue. You feel what I'm saying and do what I did and do what I'm doing. You feel what I'm saying whatever whatever this person is experiencing right now and whatever things that you may experience in your future that may happen, I'm not going to, you know, oh, he, Moose went down and he did this, that, and the third. And I'm not, I'm not here for that. You feel what I'm saying? I care about the clout. I care about trying to drag and bring another man down. I don't need that. You feel what I'm saying? I don't feed that force. But the reality is when I look at the totality of what I went through in my experiences with you and everybody there and everyone that left too, I look at it as a, I look at it the positive. You feel what I'm saying? I feed the positive nature in it. And I don't put him over you and I don't put you over him. You feel what I'm saying? I don't, I, don't, okay. I don't look at it like that. That goes for Solar. That goes for True. That goes for everybody that's there. You feel what I'm saying? And that's where I'm at with the understanding as far as the information that I'm at. I understand you say, okay, well, he's our God. He's a worshiper. You know, you worship him because he's your God. And if you worship him, you know what I'm saying, then, you know, you're going to get your practicing for how you're going to be treated. You feel what I'm saying? So I get with the mindset of where you're coming from. The greatest servant is the one that's going to be served. You feel what I'm saying? I get that. You know what I'm saying? I get all the perspective of where you're coming from. But I disagree with a lot of the ways that he, you know, treats y'all and also handles the information. And a lot of things that really could be poked holes in when it comes to factual information. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just from my personal perspective. And we don't, and it's not any slander. It's not throwing dirt. It's really just coming from my understanding and where I've gotten to now. And I wouldn't have been able to get there if I hadn't have left. You feel what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at right now. And it's always I shook, you feel what I'm saying? It's always divine love when I'm dealing with people because I, I don't need to throw no dirt on people's names. I don't need to throw no negativity out there. You feel what I'm saying? Because we need All more right. love in the world. All right, let me say this. Let me say this. Maybe I, this will be straight to the point. As a black people, we are all corroded with white supremacy.
You said what? As a black person? I, 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 I elaborated the first time I tried to give the backstory to relate to you because I know we had similar backgrounds. But simply put, the mathematics of it is the black man has the mindset of white supremacy. These are our generational curses that we are. These are our onks. Is is white supremacy. Black people naturally have a certain code of conduct that they don't break because they're in tune with their melanin. That's what I'm telling you. They're in tune with their neural melanin and they're in touch with reality. They're in touch with the beat of reality. So because of that, they don't need to intellectualize because they feel everything. So they know what's right from what's wrong. But because our minds have been tainted, we have a trouble understanding what's right from wrong. So we have to reprogram ourselves to understand what's right through objectivity. And then we feelize the information because of our melanin, right? Information, microRNAs, all the same thing. So all I'm saying is, brother, what I see in you is what I've seen in myself, which is white supremacy. And on a political level, as bigger than you and your ego, who you think you are, this is something genetic that we need to do as a people to stick together right now in white supremacy. This is something that's going to echo into the universe of time is what I'm telling you. And eventually you will see, and I'm not going to, you know, and, and when it happens, when it happens, God, all I'm going to say is I love you. I love myself. When it, when, when everything hits the fan and everybody sees the truth, I will accept you with open arms, bro. I love you. I've always loved you. You're my brother. We've been through things together that nobody else has. So this is beyond any of that. This is because I love you. I feel you, brother. You see what I'm saying? I love you. Love, this bro. is not nobody sent me up here to do this. This is because I love you, bro. And I love and I want us to as a people to be great. Not to be average, not to be to be great. We're the only people that don't stick together. Asians stick together. You don't see Asians arguing on social. You see all the other denominations of people stick together. We don't. We don't have each other's back. We don't know true loyalty to ourselves because of the self hate. That's what I'm telling you. This is something subconscious. I'm speaking. I'm speaking to genetics right now. This is God. This is God in the spirit of how I do speaking to you right now, bro. Chief is locked up right now on false allegations. They just put Caesar in jail. This is serious. This is not a game, bro. I'm not playing with you, bro. This is not a game. This is serious. And this summer, you're going to see, it's going to be an eclipse on April 30th. This is not a game, bro. This is the real deal. I was saying, because I want to respond to you, because I hear what you're saying. Um, I, and, you know, all love to you, brother. It's all love. You know what I'm saying? It's all love to everybody. Listen, what you're saying is subject to the observer. You know what I'm saying? And I understand you're in a certain space right now where you're dealing with a certain knowledge a certain knowledge and information, right? So you're coming from your perspective and you're coming from the standpoint which you're on with information and knowledge that you were given as far as what you have. You know I mean? So I get, I get what you're saying. I get where you're coming from. I disagree with it, you know what I'm saying? But I understand where you're coming from and I understand where you're at because I've been there. Mind you, I was there, you know what I'm saying? So I understand. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, and this is what I had to realize, is that when you are dealing with somebody that's getting information from another source, but they're not citing their source, what it does is it gives opening for the, the knowledge and the information to be manipulated to the standpoint of the person's mind that, that is teaching the information. So, and I'm not saying that he hasn't said things that were profound, but what I'm saying is that the direction in which he's going with the information based off my standpoints and my research and what I've come to understand is not correct. And the direction that I would be going, and anyone would be going, in my personal perspective, if you were to follow that information, would only lead you down a path that wouldn't go in, that wouldn't be headed in the right direction of where we need to be as spiritual beings on this on this world. And I understand what you're saying as far as the programming that we've been through, and you Let know, me ask you white a supremacy and hold on, hold on, the programming that we've been through and white supremacy and certain things of that nature. I get what you're saying, and it's real. We have been through programming. We've been through, you know, the uh, the the mental 
construct of our mind has been shaped based off the indoctrination that we've been into in this in this society. You feel what I'm saying? On many different facets. But that comes down to understanding in the direction in which we need to go to link back to our origins. You feel what I'm saying? As far as where we are. No, um, all roads lead to the source. Yeah, you said all, re- all roads lead to the source. All roads lead to the source. All roads lead to the source. And what's best for you is what's best for you. It's not not all roads are best for all people. It, it might be right, su- right. it might be suggested, but not all roads is best for all people. But all roads lead to the source. Um, right. All I'm saying is, even you can say that even Babylon or your lower self had a positive impact on yourself because you have to realize that we're multidimensional. So there's many dimensions to look at something. All I'm saying is, as a righteous person, regardless. If you see somebody going through something that you had a personal experience with and you know that there was positive that you gained from it, it's good to speak on that because you could very well be somebody who was getting convicted for something you didn't do and you know you're innocent and that you just want to spread love no matter how it came across and you might want somebody to do the same for you. If you had a disciple and you went through a fallout with him regardless and you got locked up on things that was false, you would want your ex-disciple to speak on good things that happened about you because you're in a wrong situation and you know the system is corrupt. You know that these women are corrupt. As a as a student, even if you're on a different path, you know that's a fact. So knowing yeah, that the, I mean, knowing that's a possibility and knowing that you have that power, that it's just the right thing to do. I, I said it. I, I said it earlier. I said it earlier. I said, and I got you. I got you. I don't want to interrupt you because you're all. I said it earlier. I said... Bro, you could talk about the bad things that happen, sure, from your perspective. I just said it's balanced to make sure you also talk about the good, especially considering the current circumstances. All I said, I didn't say you had to say that this was the end all be all for you and that was the truth. I understand you had a disagreement. I'm just talking about in this time right now, if you was on the flip side, bro, you would want that. You'd be like, man, at least be fair. Okay, that didn't work out the best way. I know I, we all rough around the edges. We all have an human experience. But you're going to sit here and tell me that there was not plenty of good. And when there's so many people throwing dirt on my name right now, you wouldn't even talk about those good things that I did for you or that you gained from the experience. And if you can't tell me the positive things you gained from that experience, that means you're a negative person. And that no matter what situation you go through, if it turns negative, you have a negative fallout. Either you're not either that's the case and you're a negative person or you're a coward and you're afraid to go against the grain of what people are doing because it's so much negativity. You see, even when I come in this room, it's just negativity, bro. You getting love, I'm getting negativity and I'm feeding off of it because uh, it's getting to a point where it's like, bro, where niggas is just trying to help. And y'all are crucifying Jesus just like in the Bible, bro. You don't see nobody else in this in, yeah. in this life on a spiritual tip as a black man being crucified like this, bro. It's not right. It's not but right, you gotta, bro. You gotta, you That's gotta, all I'm saying. Your heart is being weighed every night. And you I'm gotta, your subconscious telling you this, bro. This isn't even me saying. This is something streaming through me. And I'm trying to tell you, right, bro. Right, right. This is deeper not, than me, bro. Even. This is deeper one than second, me. You need second, to respect that, bro. I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get in here real quick. Um, one all right, my bad. Go ahead. Go for it. You, you have to understand. You have to understand that first, a lot of people that are in this live right now are not looking. They don't see. And this is what you have to understand, my brother. And this is just life in general. The, the most of these people came see, in here because I came in here. Most of these the people that, came in here because I came in here. The way that you see, oh, absolutely. It's that they're, they're following the trends. You know what time it is. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? They just want to, but listen, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. The people, the people that are sick, the, the reason why this is happening first and foremost, you have to understand the people that they don't see the way that you see him, they don't see that. You feel what I'm saying? They don't see that. I don't, I don't see him in the way that you see him. You feel what I'm saying? So when we're dealing with the differences of how people are looking at certain people, you have to be you have to first and foremost understand that not everyone's going to be looking at the person the same way that you're looking at them everyone will handle right. a situation or a given situation and respond to a given situation based off their mental state of mind meaning their mm-hmm. background their understanding how they're thinking that's going to be the response that they're going to give based off what they're seeing you feel what i'm saying and like i said there's a lot of things that i could be saying what I'm saying about the situation, this, that, and the third. I'm not giving, I'm, I'm very neutral to the situation because I disagree. And first and foremost, I don't hop out the window and say this, that, and the third because I wasn't there. 
So I was just like with the brother yeah. plight situation. I wasn't there for that. Oh. So I didn't hop out. I didn't hop out the window and say anything about brother plight because I don't know what's going on. I didn't hop out the window. No, situa- no uh, I didn't say hop situation. out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't hop out the. Si- I didn't hop out the window on this situation and say anything because I don't know anything about what's going on. Can I say that this person has a um had or had a a good personality as far as just being a, a nice person at one point in time when I was around them? Yes. <laughs> Can I say that this person also had uh, a personality where that was very disagreeable and did things that weren't, um, you know, to my nature as far as understanding as far as what would be agreeable. Yes, I can Bro. say that too. You feel what I'm saying? There is a polarity to this person as far as the good and the bad that was experienced if we're going to talk about agreeable and disagreeable. But the reality is I'm not going to make comment on certain things. And I've also made videos prior to when I was there talking about the good things. But the reality is I don't have to even cater that or feed the force to that anymore because I'm no longer a part of that. So it's no longer my obligation to be able to clean up or say anything about any of that situation because okay. that's no longer my priority or my priority. Okay, me. okay, I got I'm something. Feed the force. I got something that I think you'll appreciate. I got something that I think you'll really appreciate. Yeah, yeah, um, I mean... I, all right, so when you say you're not a part of it, you're basically, one, you're creating separation in your reality. Um, I want to say that. As a righteous being, anything that you observe on, anything that you can do, you're supposed to do within your means, within your means, right? I'm not asking you to donate a million dollars. You see what I'm saying? I'm not even asking you for anything. All I'm saying is within your means, you have a social media, you have a platform of power in which you got from Chief. Until you went along with Chief, you, nobody knew who you were. So at the very least, you got power from that just because you're an ex-Carbon Nation member. If you would have never came well, here, bro, if you I disagree with that. I, hold on, bro. Wait, 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 wait. You can't say that because that's how the that's how the that's how the event has went, and everybody that comes here and leaves gains power from it. So let's just reason properly. Let's be men. Let's set I the ego. A, let's set the ego aside. Let's be men and let's be logical and let's understand that that has been a fact. The, it, doesn't, power, it doesn't it doesn't take away didn't that power didn't come it from doesn't you, take away i know it comes from you in the sense that it's your projection but what i'm saying is it's another reflection of yourself it doesn't take away from you to give honor to your own self no matter if you don't agree with that version of hey this version of myself had a platform i didn't have and they put me on they gave me a platform to speak you see what i'm saying as a part of myself so because i honor myself i honor that part of myself for as within so without as within, so without, bro. Like it, it's very simple. These are morals and principles. Brother. These are morals and principles, and these are the morals and principles that we need in order to access higher levels of consciousness. You're wanting, you're wanting me to give. You're basically wanting me to give the, the so-called power to this individual, saying that the reason why I'm even <sighs> able to talk and have people in my life is because of this person. And that's it's not this true. individual. I had, I had, <sighs> I had, I had a following. Prior to prior to that, I had a following on my original Facebook page that already had people That's that not were what I'm commenting, saying. that already had people that were looking at my live and everything that I did as far as Facebook goes. Now, when I got to Instagram, I can say like, okay, the people on Instagram, this, that, and the third. But the people that I, the, a lot of the people that follow me and a lot of people that comment on my on my current things have no idea that I even came from there. You hold on, bro, and there's let me like say this small, real quick to somebody in the like, comments. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me say this one thing. I got. I just want to address this small, real quick, bro, because they, got, they, one they're, second, one second, they're one playing me. I got. What'd you say? They're playing it like I just want to state this real quick, bro. They're playing it. You got to let them know. They don't realize that. Me and you had a relationship as brothers, bro. They're playing it like I'm trying to make you say something. I'm looking out because I, I obviously I believe in something that I, I don't go on just anybody's random live and be like, hey, man, you should be uh, talking about how Chief did this for you. I don't know what Chief did for, the, uh, for anybody else. And I don't even care about really anybody else that's been here. I don't just go on nobody's live. I just felt it on my heart. And I was I, like, bro, I'm going to go talk to him because what, one thing I know is that I guarantee you, bro, I'm willing to bet $100 that if I type in this name you are on IG, on YouTube, I don't know. It's, it's whatever's going to pop up. It's not going to be. It might be some other body mixed up with it. It's not going to be as much views as if I search Tron and Carbonation. That's all I don't I'm do saying. it for the views, my brother. That's I not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying, bro. I'm not. No, I don't do it for the view. Well, I do it for the attention. Yes, because that's important because I value attention, which is currency. All I'm saying is that... Um, all I'm saying, though, bro, is that, that that gave you more currency, which is attention, for whatever you're doing, bro, is the fact that you was associated you with say, Chief. If you say that, it's only for this platform. It's a, Chief is a source. 
I Chief had is a brother, source, brother, brother, brother. bro. One second, one second. I feel you, but I, you, I didn't even get what I was saying. Yeah, this is go, crazy. Wait, I see what I, I see how Chief be feeling now. I, I really see currency. how Chief be feeling. I had currency already on Instagram. That's you're talking about on uh, on Facebook. I had currency already on Facebook. If you're talking about this platform specifically, then I would beg to differ on that because a lot of the people that did that do listen to my live don't even know mm -hmm. I was even from Carbonation. You feel what I'm saying? So that's yeah. that's false in that essence. And then another thing I wanted to say too, my brother, is I don't want I don't I don't I don't agree with what you're saying at all as far as giving him power because the simple fact is mm -hmm. that I gave excuse me, I gave him and, and not even him, right? Because I gave it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, Oh, he gave me this, he gave me that. I don't look at it like that. When I went to go get that money in Florida, I did it for Serenity or Willow at that point in time. I did it for Rambo. I did it for you. I did it for everybody. It was not just for one individual. I did it for feed the family. You feel what I'm saying? So I didn't give it to him. I gave it to That's everybody. That's right. Throw the threes up. Man. Throw the threes up. So, so for free me to, to three, three guys, free to three. So for me to say, for me to, to for me Put to give up. energy and power to this person as if like this person was this, that, and the third, I already gave the information and, and knowledge as far as how I feel about the individual and the experiences that we have. And I'm not just going to give it to this one person. There's everyone that I ever came across when I was there traveling throughout Central America is the people that I give the power to because it wasn't this one individual. We're looking at this individual as if he is the, you know, all seeing of, you know, no, there's many people that came through that were able to help fund this organization to go from here, there, everywhere else. You feel what I'm saying? There was a lot that happened in between. And I know because I was there, I was there prior to you. And I mm -hmm. was there, um, and I was there when you showed up. You feel what I'm saying? So I've been there. You feel what I'm saying? Like you gotta understand who you're talking to. I'm someone that was there in the beginning, but also I was there, for, you know, up to the recent events as far as where you're at. Not not your recent events, but when I left. You feel what I'm saying? Try, so yo, you being weak is you being weak, bro. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I can't do this. I'm not gonna keep doing this. I'm not gonna There's keep no going back and forth. From me, my brother. I'm There's not no gonna keep going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? When when we when we can be reasonable, we all I'm gonna say is throw up the, the threes, honor like the three, free the three. My chief is innocent. People right, are gonna realize that, that and he's gonna is, be exonerated. Brother. You feel what I'm saying? And I said what I hey, said, your subconscious is, got it, your DNA got it, and that's all that matters. It was recorded on this day in the Akashic Records. Man, one day you, you feel me? It was it was recorded on this day on the Akashic Records that Hadu came and spoke to you on this day and you ignored the truth. I did not ignore the truth, man. And I'm you will realize you, that I'm one day. You, you will realize brother. that As one brother, day. I'm to give that you this is beyond me right now. Beyond me. I'm trying. I'm really you trying to give you some information, my brother, because you have to understand that a lot of people see things differently outside of how you're seeing it. So for you to for you to try to force the perspective on other people based off how you're seeing it, as if that's how people are gonna respond, that's not accurate, my brother, and that's not how I see it. You have to understand my mind's different, being that I've seen things outside of it. And I have a different mindset because I was there in the beginning stages and I was also there up to prior, prior, most prior recent events uh, prior to this one. You feel what I'm saying? So there's a whole different perspective of how I'm seeing things. And that's why you have to understand the way I'm seeing things. When you get to see things develop rather than coming in in, in, in the meantime, in between time of things developing, you have yeah. a different eye, <clears throat> the eyes that you get to see things with. You feel what I'm saying? And I know you weren't there from the beginning, so you didn't get to see the snowball effect to what is happening currently right now. You feel what I'm saying? So it can mm -hmm. give a different perspective for certain people that came in in the in-between time. You feel what I'm saying? Rather than people that came in from the beginning. And that's why you have a different narrative from certain people that were there from the beginning to get to see what happened yeah. now. And it's a lot different with me. I see you, Ivory. Throw out them threes. Throw them threes You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. that's just what it is, brother. We, we can agree to disagree. You feel what I'm saying? I always wish best for everybody. You feel what I'm saying? I Absolutely. Don't want Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I never that. Anyone, I don't want to see anyone in a um, you know, in a fucked up state. You feel what I'm saying? I always never give that. respects to everybody. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just what it is, my brother. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to agree to disagree on, on that. But you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's always love, man. It's always love to you. It's always love. They to the, so to the glad group. that you ain't conform. They so glad. They're so happy. Good job. You didn't conform because I'm trying to manipulate you, right? Right, I'm trying There's to no manipulate. Hey, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Let's address it. Let's address people. it, bro. No, let me, let, let me say this. I got you. I'm just addressing a comment. I'm seeing. I've seen these comments over. So let's address the manipulation, right? Let's address this manipulation. I'm trying to manipulate Tron to admit something. I'm sorry, not Tron. Uh, I apologize. Uh, Kanum. Kanum. So I'm attempting to manipulate Kanum into uh, a, a mindset that he doesn't agree with, right? 
So that's one dimension of of viewing it. Now, understand that I, from what I realize and what I understand is that white supremacy manipulated us to be in our ignorance. So we're all taking different paths of truth, which all lead to the same source to come out of this ignorance. So you, you're going to have people that reach that state before others, and they're going to see their brothers, um, what they feel like is on a different path, and they just want to add to their journey. I don't want to take anything away. I'm not trying to tell him, hey, bro, come over here, come back and return. I was just offering something that I seen, which is constructive criticism. Now, if we did that more instead of just uh, talking about each other from a distance, then we would have a better community and society. I came up here and I, because I know him personally from real life. Y'all don't know him from real life the way that I know him from real life. So you cannot speak on uh, me and Kanum, Kanum, right? Yes, Kanum. You can call me Kanum. Kanum's relationship. You can't speak on that. Because we actually went through things together in real time. This is something that we're just displaying online because we're public figures and people can learn from this experience. That's why he's patient and he's on here because he real he knows that. Because we really do this because we care. And listen to this, y'all. Listen to this, y'all. This is coming from his perspective. Y'all understand. This is coming from his perspective where he's seeing things. You have to, we have to get past, like, oftentimes politicians and people that deal with, like, um, politics and Supreme Court and certain things of that nature, when they politic, there's a lot of disagreements. You feel what I'm saying? I don't disagree. I disagree with the way that this brother um, sees things. But at the end of the day, I'm still giving him a, 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 a platform and still giving him an ability to speak. I know y'all just came through, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of y'all just trailed through from, you know, because you, you're following the hype of what's going on with the current circumstances. But we have to understand that this brother has a different way of seeing things. You know what I'm saying? We don't see eye to eye on certain things, but at the end of the day, I still give eye shook it, which is the bond. You phony. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to curse this man out. You know what I'm saying? You phony. This man. I'm not going to make him see. I'm not going to make him man. feel less than. I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna make Musa bro, feel you less. Phony, bro, you phony, bro. You acting I'm like you never knew me. I'm not gonna make anything. You acting saying, like bro, you never knew me, bro. We have a, but you acting day, like we, we never went through that. You phony for that. Thing. Hold on, brother. You phony for that, bro. When you were talking, hold on. I didn't talk when you were talking. Okay. So you know that's just what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So it's all divine love. You feel what I'm saying? I shook to this man. You feel what I'm saying? On his journey and where he's at. You know what I'm saying? And he's gonna develop. He's gonna grow. And uh, things change, you feel what I'm saying? Things change with the information and knowledge right. that is given. A different perspective is, um, you know what I'm saying, it's always underway. So, yeah. you know, I can only wish the best for you, brother. I can only wish the best for you, brother. Right, you know, right, right. Journey, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and divine love. That's all yeah, so, yeah, on that note, man, I'm going to say this. I'm going to go live. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to go live on my, um, on my own live. I appreciate you letting me speak, you feel me, uh, on your platform. Um, I want to say I three love. to three. Listen, I want to say free to three. My chief is, is innocent. Um, free to three. You feel what I'm saying? This is something that black men go through all across the world, being accused that they didn't, uh, being accused of things that they didn't do. And because of white supremacy, it's easier to just lock a black man up, especially if he has a certain energy versus really seeing if those allegations was true. So I want to say free to three first and foremost. The next thing I want to say is that soon you will be bowing to my chief because my chief is God. He's the three God behind the scenes. And you will start to understand that sooner and later this year. There will be an eclipse on April 30th. And on that, I, on that note, I love myself. Free to three. Peace I to shook. God. I shook, man. I shook. Well, you see how that went, man. Y'all go follow him, man. That's what he wants, bro. But I disagree, highly disagree with a lot of those things, man. And it's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. It's hoping I was, could get through to the brother. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him. Try to get through to him. But he seems very deep. He seems very deep in the uh, in the program. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like he's very deep within the program. You know, we can only we can only hope, man. We can only hope for his uh, for his return. But at the end of the day, I did spend a lot of time with these brothers. You feel what I'm saying out there in the tropics. So, you know, it's always it's always divine love. But at the end of the day, man, they they sucked in, man. They really sucked into this this belief system that they think that this dude, um, Nature Boy, is their god. You know, and you have to you have to see that 
that's why I gave him, that's why I gave him his own, you know what I'm saying? I gave him the room to speak because I wanted to give him the room to speak so that he could be able to, you know, express himself. But the reality is that, man, that's, that's some stuff I just disagree with, man. I disagree with all of that. And it's unfortunate, man. It's really unfortunate that this, this character right here is really stuck, you know what I'm saying? Really stuck in his own ways. You know, and that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. Uh, I can't say anything else about it, man. It's unfortunate. But but that's a display right there of disagreement. Me and him, we disagree on terms. You know what I'm saying? We disagree on terms. We disagree on terms. We disagree on, you know, the way and the narrative that things are being portrayed and how things are being taken care of. But at the end of the day, that's just how this, that's how this dude wants to be. You know what I'm saying? That's just how this dude wants to act. Um, I disagree with that. I think it's all brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? I think that this person, this entity, nature boy, think that he's brainwashing people with the information to get people to, um, you know, worship him and to live a certain lifestyle that, uh, for me, was not fitting. It was not suiting. Um, I can't speak on the certain instances as far as the rape allegations in the case, the R word, right, because I don't know enough. And I'm not going to hop out the window and say that this person did or did not do um, this, that, and the third. But I do know that this person has had certain behaviors that is not um, in alignment with how you would want to treat a woman, you know what I'm saying? And due to that, it can give me probable cause and reason to think that certain things may have happened along those lines. But I don't have to be out here slandering. I don't have to be here taking it down. I can just choose to not feed the energy. You know what I'm saying? I can choose to not feed the force. I allowed Musa 9, whatever you want to call him, to come up on the come up on the platform because I wanted to make sure that I was able to give him some type of wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Give him some type of knowledge in that moment. You feel me? But also allowing him to speak because I'm not just gonna cut I'm not just gonna cut him or tell, a, tell another man that they can't talk, you know what I'm saying? Because we have to be able to learn how to discuss. And especially with dealing with people that are stuck in positions like that, you know, giving certain people a platform and being able to see, you know what I'm saying, what you can be like, not up underneath another man, but being your own man, you know what I'm saying? Being your own man, having your own, and doing your own, you know what I'm saying? That's the reality. So for that situation right there, I can only wish the best for that bullet. So I'm saying I can only give him a shook. That's it. Divine love. Anything outside of that, you know what I'm saying, is his own thing. So I'm saying I know a lot of people just came through the room right there to see that situation because that was a manifestation of, of a lot of things. You feel what I'm saying? That was that was waiting. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that he came through because I planted seeds in his mind for him to understand and to see. You feel what I'm saying? The reason why he came to me is because he sees that I'm doing different. And subconsciously he knows that eventually, you know what I'm saying, that that's all that's all going to wither away and he's going to have to stand on his own too. You feel me? But as far as, you know, me acting like I have to give this person praise or me saying that, Oh yeah, you know, show him, you know, tell the world that this person did this, that, and the third for you. I'm not going to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Cause there was other people that came that helped along the journey. You know what I'm saying? When I was out there in Central America, you have people like Rambo, who was speaking in Spanish, you feel what I'm saying, for the whole organization, because no one knew how to speak a lick of Spanish. You feel what I'm saying? You had certain people that came that brought money, like uh, Key or Flo, I guess you would call them now. You feel what I'm saying? That was a part of that organization that came and gave information, gave, gave money to the, to the group, to the organization. So, you know, for me, that's all I can say. 